In this demonstration, we're going to look at using the Exchange Admin Center. So in order for me to access this web page, I typed in HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash the name of my Exchange server, and then I put a forward slash ACP on the end of it. I'm then going to log in as my Administrate User Account. So all we're going to do here is just click on the Sign In button. This will then take us into asking us uh, information about our language and time zone. So I've told the utility that I'm in the UK and I've told me time zones GMT. So the next thing we've got here is we're now actually into the Exchange Admin Center. And within the Exchange Admin Center, we've got a number of navigation buttons that we can click on in order to come in and actually modify our Exchange organization or manage our Exchange organization. The first one we have is recipients. And in this node, we can manage mailboxes, groups, resource mailboxes, contact, shared mailboxes and mailbox migrations and also moves. Next button we've got here is the permissions button. And within the permissions button, this node will contain options for managing administrator roles, user roles, and exchange web app policies. Then what we have is we have our compliance management. So within compliance management, we use this node to use the compliance management center to manage things like in-place e-discovery, in-place hold, auditing, data loss prevention, retention policies, retention tags, and also journaling. Then what we have is we have our organization tab. So within our organization tab, this node will include tasks related to the exchange organization, included federated sharing, Outlook apps, and address lists. That then takes us onto the protection node. And within the protection node, what we have here is we've got built-in anti-malware functionality that we can manage from the protection center. And if we do choose to implement exchange anti-malware protection rather than third-party software. We then have the mail flow. So within mail flow, in this node, we manage rules, delivery reports, accepted domains, and email address policies, and send and receive connectors. Under the mobile node, this is where we manage our mobile devices that we allow to connect to our organization. And we can manage mobile device access and also policies as well. Under public folders, unlike previous versions of Exchange, in which public folder admin was not possible from within the Exchange Management Console, since Exchange Server 2013, we can manage the public folders from the public folder center. In the unified messaging, so this is where we manage our UM dial plans and also as well our UM IP gateways. The servers node, so within the servers node, the server center is where we will manage the mailbox and client access servers, databases, database availability groups, virtual directories, and certificates. Then we have our hybrid node, and in our hybrid node, this is where we'll access the hybrid setup and configuration if we're using something like Office 365 and also as well on-premise exchange. Then finally, what we have is we have the tools node and the tools node is here to allow us to run things like best practice analyzer. What we can also do within here as well is we can also as well come back up here. We can also create active directory security principles and we can do that by clicking on the plus button and then specifying, for example, a user mailbox. So one of the things we're going to do here is just as a quick little part of this demo, what we're going to do is we're just going to click on the plus sign. Our Active Directory administrators have already set us up some user accounts. So what we want to do is we want to mailbox enable one of those user accounts. So I'll go for user mailbox. Then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select existing user and click my browse button. And the user I want to select here is a user called um, Aiden. So we'll just wait for the list to pop up. We'll highlight Aiden. And then what we'll do is we'll select our OK button. Wait for everything to refresh and select save. What's now doing, it's going away and mailbox enabling that user account. And as we can see, Aidan Delaney now is a user and he's Aidan at adatum.com. And that's the end of this very quick demonstration of just having a look at the basic functionality of the Exchange Admin Center. Later demonstrations, we'll look at these nodes a little bit more in depth. Thank you.